Hey guys and welcome back. This is Saif with another tutorial from tech for all In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to enable the Windows subsystem for Android on any version of Windows 11. Let's start. First of all, let me show you the current Windows version of my computer. As you can see that I am running the Windows 11 21 H2 and the OS build is 22,000.527. Now let me show you that my PC is unsupported and I cannot install Windows 11. As you can see, this is the software PC health check which is used to check that whether your system requirement meets the Windows 11 requirements or not. As you can see, here it says that my PC does not support secure boot, the TPM 2.0 is also not supported or enabled and the processor isn't currently supported for Windows 11. Okay, now let's proceed to the first step, which is enabling the virtualization in your PC's BIOS or UEFI. To know that whether the virtualization is enabled in your PC or not, open Task Manager by pressing Ctrl, Shift and Escape from your keyboard. Click on the More Details button. Click on the Performance tab. Under CPU, here you can see that virtualization is enabled in my PC. If it is not enabled in your PC, these screenshots might help you to enable it. Okay, now that you have enabled virtualization, let's proceed to the next step, which is enabling the virtual machine platform and Windows hypervisor platform in the control panel. First of all, open start menu, search for control panel. Now open the programs and features. Click on the turn Windows features on or off. Scroll down until you see the Windows Hypervisor Platform and Virtual Machine Platform. Enable these two options and press OK. Now you need to restart your PC. Click on the Restart Now to restart the PC. I will pause the video and will resume it after the restart. Okay, now that the computer is restarted, let's proceed to the next step, which is downloading the softwares that we need for this installation. Open a web browser. I will use Microsoft Edge. First, we need to get the Windows subsystem for Android from the Microsoft Store. This is the application that we need to download. Basically, we can download it from the Microsoft Store, so we will go to the online link generator for Microsoft Store. I have put down all the links down below in the video description. Now you need to copy the URL, copy it from the start of the link until where the product ID is finished. Now paste the link in the online link generator for Microsoft Store. From the drop down, select slow and click on this mark. Now you scroll down to the bottom of the page. From this page, you need to download this application, Microsoft Corporation Windows Subsystem for Android, and the extension should be M6 Bundle. Click on it to download the application. Close the ad. The download has started. As I have already downloaded the application, I will cancel the download. Now download the second application, which is Microsoft VC Labs. You should download the 64-bit if your system is 64-bit and the 32-bit if your system is 32-bit. Point to be noted that you need to download the 64-bit or 32-bit with the extension of .appx. Click on it to download it. The third application that we need to download it from this page is Microsoft UI.xml. This one also should be with the .appx extension. Now navigate to the 
SDK platform tools. Whenever the page is opened, scroll down and click on Download SDK Platform Tools for Windows. Scroll down, click on this option, and then click on the Download button. Now let's move to the apkpure.com. It's a website from where you can download games and applications for the Android. I will download a game for the purpose of this tutorial. Or simply you can download any application that you want. Let's download the Candy Crush game. Now that the download of the applications is completed, Let's move on and install the Windows subsystem for Android. First of all, open Windows PowerShell as admin. Right click on the Start button and select Windows Terminal as admin. In the User Account Control, click on Yes. Now you need to type this command. I have put down the command in the video description. Copy it from there and then paste it in Windows PowerShell. Now select the Windows subsystem for Android, right click on it and then copy as path. Then paste the path in Windows PowerShell. Press enter from your keyboard. Here as you can see guys that I cannot uninstall it because it says Windows cannot install package and it depends on a framework that could not be found. Provide the framework Microsoft.UI, which means that now we need to install this application. Right click on the application, select copy as path. Now write down this command in Windows PowerShell and paste the path of the Microsoft UI. Press enter from your keyboard. The Microsoft UI is now installed. Let me clear the Windows PowerShell. Let's install the Windows subsystem for Android again. I will select the copy as path. I will write down the command and paste the Windows subsystem path and press enter from the keyboard. The Windows subsystem for Android is now installed. Open Start menu. Here we can find it in the recommended section. Also go to the All Apps. You scroll down and here you can see the Windows subsystem for Android is installed. Now open the Windows subsystem for Android settings. Maximize it. Scroll down, click on the refresh button, sort out the WSA to get an IP address. If it is not getting the IP address, scroll up and click on this icon to open the files. Click on continue button. Now wait until this process is finished. It has automatically opened the files application. Now close it and wait until the Windows subsystem for Android finishes the system update. Now scroll down and click on the refresh button again so that the WSA to get an IP. As you can see guys that it has obtained an IP address. Let's minimize the WSA. Now right click on the platform tools for Windows and extract it. Now right click on the Platform Tools and select Open in Windows Terminal. Now type this command.
copy the IP of the WSA and paste it in the Windows PowerShell. Press Enter from your keyboard. Here, as you can see, it says that the PowerShell cannot connect to this address. Point to be noted that if you have a firewall in your network, you need to enable the port 5555 so that the ADB to be connected to the internet. Now open the WSA again, enable the developers mode, click on the allow access button. Now let's close it and then retry the command. Run the command until it says that it is already connected to this specific IP address. Now let's install the Subway Surfer game that we have downloaded. Select the Subway Surfer game, right click on it, select copy as path. Now click on the Windows PowerShell, write down this command and paste the game path. Press enter from your keyboard. Here it says that the file name does not end with apk, it ends with .xapk. Let's rename it to .apk. Now let's copy the path again and run the command again. Here as you can see guys that it says the subway surfer game cannot be installed because it was an xapk. Okay, as I have downloaded Another game by the name of Candy Crush, I will install this game. Right click on it, select copy as part, run the command. And paste down the game path. Press enter from your keyboard. Here as you can see it says that it is performing the installation. And the installation is also successful. Now let's minimize all of these windows. Let's launch the Candy Crush to see whether it works. Here, as you can see guys, that I have successfully installed the Candy Crush game and we have enabled the Windows subsystem for Android. The app works completely perfect and here isn't any error and that's all for today guys if you need any help comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe if you love the video I will catch you very soon with another tutorial till then have a nice time